What's up guys, Matt Cole Michaels out here. So let's take a look and see what he's got on the truck today. You guys, come on. Finally, finally, ready for the weekend. <laughs> You had one of them kind of weeks? It's been a long week. We, uh, we about through it though. Yep. Well, man, I see you got some good tools up here already. Hyper step bits. Yeah, we got our blue ratchet. Yeah, we got like a little red, white, and blue theme going on, or chrome, not white, but chrome theme going on. Got our shirt with our flag on it. And then the, uh, tools for their cars yeah those um popped up on sale so why not get them yep somebody want a paint screwdriver man yeah Sports good calls why not that's right and a 25 dollar a week purple toolbox that's right that uh, gray and that purple looks really good together it does yeah that's real sure good does. which we picked up the white slide top cart this week too I seen the picture of that on Instagram. That white looks good. Yeah, that's a that's a good color. I'm still up in arms about whether it stay clean or not. Probably not, but I think it's gonna be about like a white pickup. I think it'll show like the heavy grease, but just the normal dirt, and it ain't gonna show dust. Yeah. Like that's my downfall with that blue man. It can you can clean it, open the doors, yeah, and dust is everywhere on it. So, Gotta have something, right? It looks good though. I like the white. Want to slow my driving down? Everything's in the floor. <laughs> you want to quit that drifting? Hey man, gotta have fun somehow. That's similar to the ones you got, ain't it, Bill? I'm ratcheting. Yeah, they yep. only squeeze down so much. Mm hmm. Well, you want room to put connected. Those are nice. And they don't pinch a hole in them like most of your campers will. I mean, why are you going to use the, the heat shrink type butt connector? And then poke a poke, hole in and it. And then poke a hole. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose. You don't know my honest opinion on that. I hate butt connectors. I do too. I, I can't stand them. Not stand them. Like, I won't even like. You have to get Bill to tell you the story about the uh, the salesman that comes by here, and he tries to uh, sell butt connectors all the time. Was, he was working for a company out of Tupelo that made that sold like lubricants, nuts and bolts, just all kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And he tried to sell Clay some uh, crimpless butt connectors that had solder in them, you heat them yeah. up, and Clay told him. Every time I'd see him coming in, I thought, I think, oh God, here we go again. Because he would, every month, he would show up and he'd try to sell them something. Clay said, I'm not buying any butt connectors. If I can't solder it, I'm not going to do it. I don't want a butt connector in my shop. He said, if I find one of my guys using a butt connector in my shop, they're fired right then. Do not try to sell me any more <laughs> butt connectors. Me and Bill on trailers, like up on the lights on the top, Yeah. like we'll even solder the wire. Most guys will throw a butt connector on it, shove it back in the hole. It's always going to give problems down the road, you know. But we'll stand up there on a ladder an hour soldering butt connectors, or soldering those wires to keep them having to use butt connectors. I just hate them. Like, I, I just, them. if I can't take and tie that wire, like, I like to intertwine mine and then twist and then solder yeah. mm, and yeah. then slide the heat shrink over yeah. that way you've got them twisted so they're not going to pull apart plus you got solder on them yeah. and then you've got heat shrink like if you got if you got to break a wire and tie it in that's the only way i think there is about to. i agree somebody argue with me but i just i can't stand butt connectors i cringe when i see work done with butt correct well but in the same sense sometimes you get your you're, you're in a tight and you may not have the solder yeah and Honestly, I would rather use the butt connectors than the little pinch type that it yeah. is a hole in the wire. Man, those are... Well, if it was like a temporary get me home kind of fix, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I can cool. do that. But now if it's a, hey, this is going to be like this the rest of the time I own it, or a repair for somebody, 
Yeah, I know. How much is that ruin? That's pretty nice right there. Let me look it up. Which one is that, Napa or Auto Junk? That bees looks like you some breakfast. Oh, that's even better. It's even better. Thirty-six uh, or thirty-seven dollars is what that runs. Okay. Seems to be a popular socket with my Ford Tex. I agree. I can see where it is perfect. Let me get our new product this week. New product this week. We love them new products. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't have enough lots, so when the lots come in, I gotta buy more, right? Oh yeah. Uh oh. Place, uh, biggest weakness is light. It is. I love some lights. Yeah, me too. Uh, this is a thousand lumens, so it's nice and bright. Which I'm sure it's it's where you can dim it, but he wants to dim it right. I think y'all yeah. hate the dim. <laughs> you need to wear your welding helmet if it's too bright. What's the purpose of having a light if you're gonna have uh, lighting? Well, you know, I can see circumstances where I've cut them down, but. Uh, not all the time. Yeah, so three different, two different settings, thousand lumens. It's got this not, so you can use it as a, a regular, like big bulky flashlight. But the key thing is when you clip it on, now you've got it to where you can, <laughs> yeah, I don't, hey, let's, when you clip this on, this is non bar non marring, so it won't scratch the paint on like your hoods and stuff like that. Swivels and go on like doors and frames and stuff like that. So pretty cool light. Um, they've got it to where they, they got a pistol grip too. Mm -hmm. It's down in there. So uh, the pistol grip, I can see just walking around without the pistol grip. Nah, I can't see it. But so that's a nice lot. Yeah, they they went on sale in, in my district um, at a sales meeting. Uh, it's kind of got that base too. So rotating magnetic base is what that one is. That was going to be my next question. Does it have a magnet? Yeah. <laughs> so the pistol grip, I can see. I feel like I was flow from yeah. uh, Allstate. <laughs> <laughs> the brass gun. Yeah, I mean, to me, that's what that resembles. But, hey, I mean, if you're walking around looking, I, I think it would be good. Um, the most that I would probably use it for is the underhood. Yeah. Like, Because it's not that big, bulky, stretch across the whole hood thing. You can aim it, point it uh, with you that. You know what I hate about those underhood lights? What's that? Once you get them up there and get them where you need, and you're working on an underhood creeper, every time you bend over, yep. you're going to hit your head on it. And then every time you raise up, you're going to hit your head on it again. Well, it's either you're going to hit your head or you're right in the way of the light. Like, that's mm -hmm. what I've always seen. Like, that's why I like the style that you can, like the bar lights that you can stick down where you're working at. I know mm -hmm. they kind of get in the way every once in a while, but it seems like to me... If, if you've got a regular style of bar light, every time you go to work, you're going to be right in the way of the light. That's true. So. I'm going to tell you that last light that I got the snap on, uh, my biggest complaint has always been you don't know when the battery's going dead. Yeah. It and man, a, that pisses me off too, that instant bad. going to dark. Oh, I can't but stand it. When that one starts going down, the actual light will flash. It'll flash like three times, wait a few seconds to flash again. Yeah. And it'll let you know that the battery's going down on it. Yeah. The other light that I've ever owned, it just... Tell him usually up. what happens when we're working on something in instant dark. What happens to that light? Like, <laughs> and, and right in the middle of working on something, the dead gum light will go out. And my little Matco light, I've got a little orange one that I've had for three or four years. It'll go out and it gets tossed across the shop. Man, we have <laughs> slung lights across the shop. I'm telling you, nothing pisses me off no worse than a light that don't have a battery indicator on it. Yeah. It goes dead on you. In fact, Joe was trying to sell me a light. He was like, if you'll run over this one, I give you this one for extra. I was like, oh man, this, this light's still a good light. I paid like 80 something dollars for this light. It's still a good light. I'm not gonna destroy a good light. I've never for, understood that. And and I mean, it's been a champ. Like I said, it's it's been through the ringer, but it's still working. <laughs> That's I've heard that Joe. so many times. If you do this, like not only Joe, I've, I've heard it from other other distributors. Like I've had distributors ask me the same thing when I was buying tools. Hey, if you'll destroy this, and it's always somewhere different. Hit it with a hammer, run over it, throw it in a mud puddle, do something. And it's like, no, I paid for this. Like yeah. it wasn't given to me. If it was given to me, fine, I'm okay. Yeah. But. If it's not, See, I can't do that. Even I would, I just give it away. 
Well, you know. I wouldn't want to, but I can see more if I haven't put my money into it. But if mm -hmm. I've already put my money into it, that's just like a car. I have never traded in a car. Well, you know, it'd be different if it was broke and didn't work or something. You know, yeah. It, yeah. It wouldn't hurt my feelings that bad. I, I take that back. I traded one car in, and that's because they gave me a payoff. Like, I've never took a loss on a car because... To me, I've already put money into it. There's mm -hmm. no, and if it's paid off, oh, it's sitting in the yard. I don't care if it's a yard on it. At that point, <laughs> it's paid off. Like I still have my first truck that I ever got. You just waited around it, huh? That's right. I don't care. I've only got one that's paid off, but if it's paid off, it's mine. Yeah. It's done. You might be from Mississippi if you that's get your ass and find the vehicle. You don't <laughs> ever get rid of vehicles if you live in Mississippi, ever. I'm just saying, if it's paid off, I don't care what it is. If it's paid off, it's mine. Like Even if it's non-repairable, somebody's going to need a part <laughs> off of it. You keep that thing around because somebody's going to need it. Yeah, always. Well, do you have any more of those neck lights that you had that's got see, one I on each side? I believe we got them in. Let me see. Two, two, two. Yes, I got one left. So here is the part. Everybody has bragged on these and told me I need to get a set of these. I'd love them if I get them. <laughs> Guaranteed, you'd never find a better light. So, so those are pretty cool. Um, I see people wearing them on their neck, but I also see people wearing them on like their head. They mm -hmm. put them above their ears. Stuff like that. So whatever floats their boat, however they want to wear it. Like I said, once it's paid for, it's yours. I don't. How care. much does that set, right? Let's now. see. And I'm reading the Spanish side, but I was actually just looking at the picture. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I did get it runs a uh, 150 lumens on each one of them, so for a total of 300. But I've heard a lot of good things about that light, so. 59 is what it what it's on sale for right now. Or yeah, 59 is what it's on sale for. All right. You sucker me into that one. Well, I can tell you, I have still. This has become my favorite little impact. I thought far. I had me another one. I love that thing. I uh, had a guy that brought two on that the last Maco distributor just gave them because they were messed up. And with an honest opinion, he asked me, can you get these working? And basically without sending them in, well, one needed a motor. And we looked it up, and it was like 50 bucks. He's like, yeah, that's that's fine. I like, dang, I almost had me one. I, was, I want one at the house. But uh, well, yeah, we ordered him one. a motor and you, put it, do what I mean, now? just get you one. You know where they're at. Man, you know. You ain't even got to wait for the Matt Go guy to come around. I and know get it. it. Like, there ain't no excuse, is it, Bill? Nope. You'd be surprised at how many tools I have got off the truck. I'm just telling you. Now, I've got the little snap-on gun, but I got this one, and it was used, and it looked like it had been through 29 hails before I got it. So, I, yeah, I actually sold the one that you got to a customer. Uh, well, I like it. Kind of sold. But either way, he got it for me, and I don't know why he ever traded it in. But now he's regretting it because he swears up and down he traded it in and the one he got for us broke. I don't, I, I don't know. I know I like it. I'm, I'm addicted to it. I like the, I like the way it feels. I like the speed. I like the strength, and I like the way the battery lasts. So we, we've stepped up with our impacts. I mean, we, we Not ask good. them to do something, and, and they have. They're going in the right direction. Scanners. I think they should look at trying to put a 3 8 anvil in that same gun. I know yeah. it's not going to be as strong, but think of the plate. Like, that is the selling point that I have with the CT761. Yeah. Because it's slim. You know, granted, it did. Would we do 180 foot pounds with it when we bought it? I think so. I can remember right And that's plenty for a 3 8. But it's so if small. They, got one. they do have one? Yeah. The same frame. Yeah, right there it is. And that's the same size. That's the 38 drive, yeah. It's actually got a 16 volt battery, but uh, I'm pretty sure if I come right here, it's gonna be right there. Same same battery, 12 volt battery, same frame. Hmm. So how much does that run? Well, you just need the gun, right? You wouldn't need the whole kit. Yeah, I've got two good batteries and one kind of iffy battery. Let me like, see how much just the gun <laughs> it, they don't run that long off of that battery. But I've become a fan of that. I like the size of it. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. 
Right now, that thing runs around 250. Okay. So if you get to needing it, there it is. Do they have it in a, something besides that maroon? They're starting to go to like a green and stuff, green and orange. Let me see. That other one's green, but God, I hate that maroon. That's the ugliest color impact. Oh, come on, though, Mike, Michael. You need to send them in a, an order for a blue one. What the spray paint that joker or something? <laughs> There's too many Alabama, Mississippi State fans. Looks right like there. I got they'll a come up missing. Hey, watch it there. They'll come up missing. <laughs> they'll just steal them because they're such big fans of them colleges. It looks like I got uh, green, um, green, orange, and the maroon. Cool. So I know they've been pretty good about getting us several different colors on stuff. So but yeah, it looks how many like foot pounds is the three eight supposed to have? Is it a hundred? I think that's what it is, isn't it? Uh, probably somewhere close, yeah. I was thinking the the quarter was supposed to have been a hundred. It probably tells on the box. Let me look. Let me look. Turn it on the non-Spanish side. No, it's 60 foot pounds. Well, some, it seems like somebody told me that wasn't accurate, though. I don't, I don't know. So they I could know it's more. perfect for a quarter inch. I mean, they did a good job of that one. So... I'm trying to bring it up and see, but because they changed the part number. I definitely like the size of it. Let me get some internet and I'll pull a picture. Bill, when are you going to get a blue ratchet? One of these days. I remember in that video, and you correct me if I'm wrong, Michael, didn't Bill say, yeah, if they come out with that blue ratchet, <laughs> I'll probably have to get one. I'm going to pay my bill down a little bit. Oh, yeah. it's always excuse. Then it's gonna they're gonna be sold out, and they're not gonna have that color anymore. They're gonna go down on the price a bit. No, <laughs> they'll go up on the price if they yeah. do anything. You know, I, I'm actually really surprised at how many people's bought those things. Like they are going fast. So I I don't think Maco's gonna go. Away. I hope they don't go away. If they do, they're messing up. Well, there's the Napa truck. Yeah, look at how our Napa driver does. Cowboy. Cowboy. Won't be a cowboy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love old Bruce. Yep. I wish they'd come out with a 13 in this Joker. Yeah. Man. I'd like to have it little old kit. Will they sell them individually? It says it that does about a hundred, but it looks like they changed the design just a little bit. So that's it now. As you can see, it's it's not like a whole lot bigger, but it, it is a, a little little different design on it. Hmm. You know, I've uh, I can probably show you one because I ordered a. That kit last week, remember we had the ratchet and the impact in it? Yeah. It should have a 3 8 in it. Because it, I think it was a quarter inch ratchet and a 3 8 gun. So I, I got one at the house. It come in damaged, so they're replacing the gun. That's why I don't have it on the truck. Okay. So I'll show it to you. That way we can show it on the video. This is what the new style looks like. Compare it side by side to the old one. All right. That'll work. It says it does 150 foot pounds. Um, but I'm going to say it's going to probably be around a hundred-ish, 125. Okay. Well, that'll work. Well, I guess I'll get the, try the neck light and the fuel filter socket. And that'll get me for today. All right, guys, so that's our video this week. Hopefully y'all liked it, if you do. Be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you want some merchandise, it's right over there. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, all you got to do is click that button right there. It don't cost you a dime. It's totally free. That way you guys can see us every week. But y'all have a great one, and we got to get back to work. Y'all be careful. See you later.